Welcome to phase two of my mission to make my backyard a little less redneck. Today we're gonna to be adding a border around my Costco pool. Love the Costco pool. Perfect purchase. We're, make, we're gonna be adding a border here to make it a little more clean so there's a nice line where the grass is. So join us. <laughs> Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. That's right, I said join us. Brittany is joining me today. We are going to be adding a border around this area where I have the uh, Costco pool sit. Um, it's simple. I was gonna go with six by sixes, but then I saw the price of six by sixes and I'm like, do I really need six by sixes? So no more six by sixes. I went with four by fours and basically I'm just gonna be lining this entire area in like a U of four by fours. Simple project, but you know, I don't work outside if I don't record it these days, so let's get going. First thing first is to get this area cleaned up so I can get the tractor in here and start flattening things. Guess I can't use this as a parking spot no more. And honestly, this video might turn into a um, setting the pool up video. We'll see how far it gets. Let's do a brief inventory of what we got. So as I mentioned, uh, first went with the six by sixes and it was a little too expensive. So yeah, it's, it's just a border. I don't need them. Six by sixes would have been nice for height, but overall it was just too big. So I got two, four, six, eight, four by, or sorry, four by four by 12s eight four by four by twelves here and then six four by four by eights because the back of the pool is 16 feet wide additionally got some uh, stone pavers to go under all the poles last year with the costco pool i was lazy and didn't get those and wherever a like pole was in the wet area of the yard it would just start sinking into the ground I, I even had to resort to using like a uh, car jack, jacking up the side of the pool and sticking some two by fours under there like to, so it would stop sinking because the whole corner would just was listing. So got pavers for all the corners, but first things first, we need to take a look at the base of the pool area and then um, start flattening it out, start getting the edges defined a bit. I want to get the back wall on and maybe the right wall before we set the pool up, which hopefully we can. It's looking awful dark. Okay, so evaluating this area, that is the pool, where the pool sits. I have it sitting on this tarp, but I need to get this tarp off so I can get the ground flattened back out. How's that even possible? How is this even possible? There is so much grass under this tarp. Definitely need to flatten this out. Let's get the tractor. So this was already pretty flat.
what? This is a muddy mess. Muddy mess. I'm gonna need to switch the boots. So, need to switch the boots and I either need to make new passes with it or with the tractor or do some edging with a shovel. Looks like I might need to put some dirt right here. It looks a little low right here. Well, I don't know, maybe stand there and direct me to see how close I can get. I just don't want to whack the porch like Charlie did. So I can get the dirt, but also not make a huge mess. fill it back in I'm just going in line with this so this point just making a nice straight straight edge all the way across
What? Yeah? This was a pain in the butt, getting all this level, level-ish. If it doesn't look level to you, just, just turn your head to the left or right until it's level. Because we're not leveling it again. <laughs> now, I'm just going to put a 7 8 seven eighths inch hole into the end of all of these boards. And then I'll use that as a template for all the others. We got these um, spikes from Home Depot and I'm going to put three of these on top of each other and then send the spike down into the ground. Probably going to hit a rock and it won't go down all the way, but I'm going to send it about four inches in from the end, five inches in from the end. Five inches in from the end. And same thing over here. <laughs> I'm very loosely measuring <coughs> five inches in from the end. So now that I have an idea of what we're doing, I'm just going to take the drill and do a hole five inches from the end on all of these and then we'll just stack them up and then drive a stake through them all. So let's do that real quick. Nice. All right, so ready for lovely assistant to come back. What do you mean what's happening? I drilled a bunch of holes with barely measuring them. Only good things can happen from now on. Confused that this is the sometimes build. This is real life. We don't work on the same car every day for like four months straight. This, this is real life on the sometimes builds. Today, we gotta put a border in. Tomorrow, we're doing gardening. The day after that, back on cars. <laughs> but now we have to um, put these in a, on top of each other and then put the spike through. I put a hole five inches from the end on the, all of these. So we can put all three on top. I think three, probably three. Oh, on top of each other. Yeah, and then spike them down. What would one think if I had measured this correctly? We can just pick one up and slide it on both. Did you even measure it? Yes, five inches from the end. <clears throat> Left and right measuring, I did not do. Whoa. <laughs> Lift yours back up. There it goes. Whoa. Shocking. <laughs> Where's the leaf blower? It's not just good, it's good enough. Because in the end, this was just to make a border around the grass. So the grass can go right up to the edge. All right, now it's time to get these out. Where are you going with it, over there? 
How bad is it? Spike. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Better. Looks good enough. Spike didn't Measured do that one. Definitely need the longest spikes we can buy. <laughs> that spike doesn't do anything. I almost need to put a matic right in here. What? Just lift it up. Kind of want to just lift up this right here. shove some dirt down there. This is where I'm gonna take the blade part of this and come in here and you tell me where I need to like move more dirt, move less dirt using that. Bottom portion. Any more dirt? A lot of this right here is just dug out more because of the rock, stone. That's the only reason why I dug this out further. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. Like the pool kind of ends right here. This is just for all those feet to sit against. 
but it was in, it was just like a slight it was a ramp before um this was the back left corner Thanks. i remember because it had all this dirt on it yeah it was in that corner Wait, do i need to flip it no you're fine it's like this so this just Take that right to the edge and I'll just square it up. Like, yeah, the corner. This is just to keep the errant sticks and something from going up and popping the pool. Just don't let that end get too muddy when it, like, when it crosses over here. This goes that direction. This comes back this direction. I'm trying. I'm trying to ease with it. Oh. That was hard. So we have half the border in right now, the back and the side. Wanted to get the pool at least framed up. So we know where this has to be cut and dug at to put the last um, board in. The last sets of the uh, 4x4x12 four by four by 12? 12. Same thing as the other side though, like a 3 or a 2 and a 2 or a 3 and a 2. Probably a 3 and a 2 because that's what we have. But now it's got a time to remember how did we put this pool together before? It's been a few days. We have finished the border here and over there. Um, it's good enough. It's good enough for what we're trying to do here. It's a little bit this way, or a little bit that way, but that's okay. All I wanted to do was contain the pool, contain everything here. Then I thought the pool's looking kind of muddy and nasty, so. Lowe's happened to have a sale on um, mulch. So I went over to Lowe's and got 30 bags of mulch. So I'm gonna fill this entire area in on both sides with the mulch after I um, finish the plumbing for the pool. Pool's almost filled up, filling it up on well water slowly. Um, it's about to hit the skimmer. So gotta do the pool pump stuff first and then I can start laying out all this mulch and get this whole area like cleaned up a bit so it's not muddy and then I'll put some fabric down over here um, but this was just relatively cheap way of putting on a border I mean four by fours they were I think five dollars ten dollars each something like that so and then some spikes and then uh mulch was two dollars a bag so I got 30 bags 60 bucks so relatively cheap there and filling up the pool with uh well water so free i'll take that but now i need to get this going first and then i'll do the mulch i need to put some fabric here first before i start putting pool equipment in because it is muddy and i don't want this to have a base of mud every time i do anything
first going to put some fabric down. Got this at Ollie's. It's probably pretty thin, but it's also really cheap. So I'll move my gigantic stone and put it over here for now. This general area. So, not doing anything super by science here. Not super leveling this. We're just trying to get a nice base of mulch down before I put down like the pool um, filter pump and all that stuff. So, just something to keep the weeds down because this area gets nasty. And then an area, so it's just not all muddy. So I'm just gonna spread that around. So I'm thinking that's where the pump will sit. Put that somewhere in that vicinity. So now step two, get all this set up and then I can get all the stuff out from around the pool. But I can actually put the mulch down. It's like that intake as I have the pool filling up and we're a couple inches away from the skimmer so as soon as it hits the skimmer it's going to start sending water into this pipe into the pre-filter so I need to get this part ready before I go and get distracted doing other things and I got to remember how to do this I'm pretty sure this goes to this Pretty sure. I had it mostly right. Well, I had it right. This goes here. I remember because it doesn't sit on this little platform well at all. It kind of sucks. So in, gets pumped in the pre-filter. In here, up, into the top of here, down, and then the output is right here. Which, this is when we need to get this complete muddy mess of a this is a solar panel solar pad so this sits somewhere nearby so the water that comes out of the filter goes through this thing if it doesn't have holes in it it's been sitting outside all winter and then goes back into the pool warm which that does work really well it's oftentimes the pool was hotter than like tolerable so this side is a little bit different than that side. That side has a full tarp on it. This side, I put all this grass in here, but I'm gonna take all this out. Maryland sod. Take all of this out of here, because I'm gonna cover it up with the black mesh here, and then put mulch in. We are an inch and a half away from filling into the Wow, there's a lot of bird crap in this pool. So I put a black thing down here and then mulch all this, probably just this area, not next to the pool, just to cover it and clean this area. And we're one inch away from that filling and being on showtime. Hey, it ripped, awesome. Just to keep some weeds down, I mean, I'm not too Obsessed over it. Mm. 
and I modify this every year. I've been thinking about putting a concrete pad in next to it, so nothing is permanent here. Absolutely nothing is permanent here. Of course, going to be extremely careful next to the pool with this knife. Also down there. It's all right. Come. I'd say a good work in progress. If I have extra, I'll do back here. Priority is the sides, though. So. Got a good layer of mulch here. I mulched all that area around there. No border, obviously. And then all the way around here to back here. So I'm gonna now continue over there. Looks a lot better than mud and tarp. Of course, come back and level it a bit with the rake. Nasty. And as we do all this, see the pool is right there. So, letting that run while we mulch this side.
think I should have got 40 bags. 30 was just not enough. You can see it stops right there as it enters the mud pit. Granted, that'll be grass again as soon as it dries out and grows. And then we have all of this. I also did a little weed whacking. It comes over there. This is the project that just gets, you know, modified every year. So next year I might have the energy to put on the backboard here and then finally completely level it with grass or gravel so then down this side there's that I gotta flatten this area out a little bit here and of course organize the work site because I'm still putting on those uh, deck skirting over on that left side over there and the, I gotta clean up that side as well but this is kind of where everything's staged so skimmer it's right here water will come in here through that pipe into the pump there do its thing and then come out and go through this entire solar panel and then back into the pool to heat the pool up we are almost at the point we are like an inch away from the point so that is some cold water so i just got to get the chlorine and all of that in a nice area. Sometimes I, I built it so that panel comes out. As you remember from a previous video, that whole panel comes out. So I could put all the chemicals behind there and keep it out of sight, out of mind. But this is the work in progress so far. I think that was all I was going to show for this. This video was supposed to just be the um, border around the pool. It was gonna. It was starting off with six by sixes, and I saw the price, and realized I would be spending seven hundred some dollars for a border. So four by fours work good. So I got a bunch of four by fours. I think it costs like, I think three hundred and twenty dollars for the four by fours plus all of the um, stakes. So three hundred and twenty plus sixty dollars in mulch. Um, I think it was like. 20 30 dollars in stone i needed to put that around the on the pools like bases like all the stands for the pool so that that looks all cleaned up so thank you hold up i did a little bit more since i stopped recording so let me show you what i did then i'll end the video check this out so pool is completely filled right now pool is filled pump is working from that skimmer i did that's a aftermarket install um pump here is working no air in the system that's running also set up the hot tub right there it used to be like buried next to the house mice loved it over there so i moved it over here give it a better view um cleaned it out got that there got a bunch of the weeds cleaned up all the mess here as you can see mulch all the way around cup holders installed lights installed i got the poles these are the same poles i use when i go camping those metal poles with the govi um, string lights so we're done we're ready for summer 2024 also did some uh Brittany did some planting out there vegetables flowers to ward off bugs tomatoes cucumbers etc pool doesn't get cleaner than this fresh water right from the well i still need to get a little bit of um mulch and put it down there on the end because it's kind of a mud pit over there but it's working all systems are on i have the water guru water sensor down there as well that measures the uh, ph level and the chlorine level and temperature so i can add or subtract or ph up ph down as needed and then add um, chlorine as needed so that helps me keep it keep it balanced pretty easily i have not really gotten this like green green with that system um, this works really well. I see there's a drip coming from the intake of the filter. I need to go look at that. And a puddle over there, interesting. Um, this solar panel works amazing. Um, it probably doesn't work so well that I have it over there. Maybe I'll relocate it later on, but, because then now, at, here we are at, what is it, four or five o'clock, the sun's going down, so it's not getting any heat. During the day, though, this thing works really well. It'll heat this pool up to 70, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that works well, but we'll see how this how this does. It's a lot cleaner, 
piping than it was last year. So yeah, back to other me. If you're watching from if you made it this far, there'll probably be more videos about this particular area as I keep going, but that's gonna wrap up this. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, all over the place. This is real life. This is the sometimes builds. We don't do the same thing every week because we can't. I have to work on cars. I have to work on this. Charlie's property all over the place. So if you like just kind of sometimes content, drop a subscribe down below. See you next time. Peace. Yeah!